As you can see behind me, a couple of dozen people gathered here on Van Dyke, just north of 23 Mile. Many here for what appears to be a Republican political rally. Others I spoke with say they are business owners and they just need the state to reopen as quickly as possible. More government equals less liberty. Dozens of people showed up to rally side by side against the state's reaction to the pandemic. A lot of it's fake. You know, some of it's real, but most of it's fake. Many protesters without masks, not social distancing, holding up Trump posters and homemade signs say it's personal freedoms they're fighting for. It's like World War II. Did we give up our freedoms? No, we fought for our freedoms and a bunch of people died. And if I get sick, I get sick and I don't believe that the masks are going to help anybody. We fought to keep our freedoms. This is the same thing. So far, tens of thousands have been diagnosed with COVID-19 in Michigan just since March. That's when Governor Whitmer issued a stay home order following several neighboring states to slow the spread of the virus, which it has slowed from the early April trajectory, but it's been a tough two months. Horrible, horrible. I have a travel agent and I lost so much money, of course, with the flights and everything and people are scared, you know, and everything is shut down. Some politicians running for election were also in attendance, hoping to win over an audience frustrated with the choices of those currently in office. I mean, we started in March. Now this is going to be at the end of May. Yeah. Give me a break. If they want to stop people from making a living, why don't they stop getting paid? You know, I mean, period, not, you know, put it in an escrow to be paid later, but I'm saying not get paid and see how it feels. It doesn't affect them, so what do they care? We will continue to bring you the latest coverage on the coronavirus and the stay home order here in Michigan, right here on 7 and on our website, WXYZ.com. In Shelby Township, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.